Hey guys, today I'm going to be starting a thing, thing during October. It will be the six days of, of creations. And each day I will make a paper figure of one of those people. Like the Headless Horseman, the Plague Doctor, Frankenstein, a vampire, here, all of those kind of things. Each day it will be a different thing. But today, I will be doing the Headless Horseman. So first, you want to fold the paper like this. So after you have this with that little flap, you want to fold this edge. So now you have that little edge folded did over here. Then you want to do the same on the other side. Now after you have the headless horseman and body thing, you can now start sketching out what you want. So I'm going to have this little area right here to be his little neck thing area. You want to bring this down here, this down here, bring this over. <clears throat> so make it like that. Then for here, you want to go like this. Just bring it down like that. You can erase that. Then for this area, you want to... Oh. Oops, messed that up. But it's okay. You want to make some lines right there. Then after you have the lines, you want to come over here and bring... Wait, nope. First you want to do this. This will be where his jacket is. Then we want to continue on to this. Like that. Then over here, you can do that. Darken this line up area. Um, ooh, almost dropped the phone. Then you want to make little pocket areas. One on this side. Two on this side. Well, you can have as many pockets as you want. Um, then you want to make the line for the legs. Then you want to make the boot lines. Then the feet lines. Then you want to do that. On both sides. So this what it, this is what it should look like. Then you want to make an X down there. And X on the other side. Then for the head. You want to do this. Now, right here is where you can do whatever you want, want pretty much. You, you make the pumpkin shape, then you make the face that you want. You can go creepy, you can go oh, happy, whatever you want. Then after you do that, you want to add the little lines that a pumpkin has. Boom. Then you want to take uh, some scissors and I'll cut off, cut the head out and show you guys 
what you want to cut for the head. See, you want to cut the head off. So the head would be there. Then you just want to cut down here so it's like that. See? So you, you have that little jacket area. Then you want to cut a, the lines around the pumpkin. You may or may not be able to get two of these. If you did, you can make an alternate face. Or you can just do an alternate face on the back. But for now, I'm just going to be doing this. Then you can have it like right there. Um, time for the colors. So the colors you want to get is macaroni and cheese for orange. You want to go and get forest green. You can get different color oranges and greens. And you want to also get a black. Then, for the final color, pretty much, is, what is it called? The chestnut. But if you don't have those exact colors, you just want a black, a dark green, a brown, like a dark brown, and orange. Oh wait, yep, forgot one color. I knew I was going to have it all in the colors. You just want to get a yellow, or if you want to be exactly like the tutorial oh, I'm doing, it's yellow. That's exactly what this one's called. Yellow. First, we're going to start with the jacket. The jacket, you need the black, the dark green, and the brown. The pants will be dark brown. So I'm going to color that in, show you guys what it should look like. Get ready because tomorrow I'm also going to do be doing one. I might do a mummy or, or the plague doctor. Okay, after... Ooh, almost turned off the recording. After you colored... In the pants thing with the dark brown, you can go onto the dark green. So for this, you want to color in the shirt. I'll show you what it should look like after I'm done. Now with this, I'll do that lightly colored in. And this. It's what it should look like. Now you want to take your black and outline all the stuff pretty much with a hard layer of black. So like this. You want to push down on the black color. I'll do the rest of the outlining off camera. Then I'll show you what it should look like. I need to resharpen my black. Yours should be neater. Mine's not neat because my black is actually needing to be sharpened. <coughs> so it should look like this. Next, you want to like slightly put on the black. Oh, forgot an area. The bottom coat area and the leg area. Like that. Then you want to lightly put on the black. 
I'll show you what that should look like after I'm done. You can just get a gray. But we're going to actually use... Ah, oh, I forgot something. I forgot a gray. But I'm just going to use black. For the boots. You're going to also do it for the boots. You can use a different color. Oh yeah, I forgot. You need to outline the bottom of the boots area. Like that. See, that's what the body should look like. So you're done with the body. Next, you want to go on to the head. You want to take your yellow and do what I show you what you want. You need to do. You want to pretty much color in like the area that the lights would be. The inside. So like that. Then with your brown, you're going to color in the stem. After you're done coloring in the stem, you want to go and put the brown on each line. So I'll show you after I'm done doing mine. So this is what it should look like. Then with your orange, you just want to color in all the light, the white on the pumpkin head. Not on the actual costume. Well, it's not a costume, it's a paper figure. See? Like that. You can do it darker if you want. But there you go. There's your... Your headless horseman. You can glue that on to the side if you want. You can glue it right there. You can... You can glue it to the actual head area. You can make a bigger one so it actually fits the head and glue it on. But if you just want a side decoration with that, that's what it would be. <clears throat> so, yeah, bye! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. Bye!